Okay, it's been a while since I recorded, so I'll try and keep this one short and sweet. But uh, today I want to have a bit of a rant about the availability of PC parts. Now, I was talking to a friend of mine the other day, and uh, he intends building a new PC for his kid. And as I understand it, his kid's actually paying for it out of his pocket money. So he's done well there to save up for the parts. But um, we were talking about the various different parts. And obviously, he's not going for quite the high end parts that I'll be looking for because I'm going to be looking to build my own PC again soon. But um, we did get talking about the stock and um, (laughs) specifically stock of things like AMD's 5900 or 5950 and even the 5800 and then things like the RTX 3080. And we've also seen stock issues with the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox. Now, obviously, we've had COVID and that's caused some problems. Nevertheless, this is getting really silly. And we're well into January now. As I'm recording this, it's the 26th of January. And if you look on here, I'm I'm looking at Stock Informer in the UK and we look for the RTX 3080. And as you can see here, surprise, surprise, the only place that's got it in stock is eBay. And uh, I'm telling you now, if you go in and you look at eBay, in fact, let's go and do that. You go and look in at eBay for the 3080 and the scalpers are still out in force. 1,399 uh 1070 uh don't know, even know if that's that's a pc i think and 1249 1070 some of these things are even just images um 1249 910 uh <laughs> i mean this is ridiculous when you when you consider that the rrp for the rtx 3080 should be around £649, then you get an idea of the kind of markups people are asking for. And and if you're looking to build a computer at the moment and these things are being marked up to that degree, it's putting it out of your price range. And in fact, actually, if you're looking at £1,399 for an RTX 3080, you might as well (laughs) buy an RTX 3090 apart from the fact that the 3090 is almost as hard to come by. Not quite. I nearly picked one up the other day and then thought better of it. But they're expensive as well. And so, yeah, it's ridiculous. This is the 3080. You see here, no stock, no stock. And when they do come in stock, you are looking at these sort of prices. Even even on Amazon, you've got third-party sellers on Amazon selling these things at stupid markups. And so we go, if you look, no stock, no stock, no stock, no stock, no stock. And then you get down to the 3070, which is more the sort of thing my my mate was talking about for his kid. He was looking at a 3070, no stock, no stock, no stock, no stock. (laughs) And then you get the 3090 and it is showing in stock. But then I had this with um, Overclockers the other day. I went to look at Overclockers, it says in stock here. When you get there, it wasn't in stock eBuyer, I think the other day, like I said, I nearly picked one up the other day, either from eBuyer or maybe it was Scan or somebody like that. Somebody had one in, but I I didn't end up buying it in the end. Because what's the point of buying that? I haven't got the other parts. I can't get the other parts at the moment. Same thing with, as I say, the 5900, 5950. If we go here, AMD Ryzen 9 5950X in stock on eBay again but no stock at any of the other retailers. And if you go and search yourself, you'll find this as well. Ryzen 9 5900 in stock on eBay. And again, I mean, if you, if you go and look at these things on eBay, you'll find that the markup is incredible. And, and even on Amazon, I found people were asking, what, the 5950X RRP is 749 and the 5900 is 420, that's pounds. And when you go in and you start looking, I mean, you know, this is already the the, the markup is is getting ridiculous. I mean, you, you've got uh, Curry's here is selling seven forty. Well, that's the RRP pretty much. But then look, you know, e buyer fifty nine fifty X eight hundred and nineteen. Well, that's a considerable markup from seven four nine. Uh, eight hundred and thirty nine from Novatech. Eight hundred and fifty nine from overclockers so even the 
the the normal retailers that you would be expecting to buy off the, the markup is is going up and as i understand it i i didn't look into this the other day when i saw it but i i heard that the rrp's been increased as well whether that's the case or not as i say you'll have to check that for yourself but it's getting ridiculous i mean it, it, even with these price markups i mean i i i'd be prepared to pay maybe 540 for for a 5900 uh at a push perhaps um but you know some of these prices are, are insane and and um 819 for a 740. I mean, are you prepared to pay that markup? And then, as I say, there's the issue of whether you can actually get these things at all. And um, as I say, look, you know, we, we've got COVID, we've got problems with, you know, manufacture and all the rest of it. But I'm actually starting to think that some of these things, they would have been far better off. And I, and I mean this with the PlayStation and the Xbox as well, because they've had teething problems. They would have been far better off waiting and putting these things out later on this year, maybe when they had some more stock to, to put out there. Because as it stands at the moment, if you're looking to build a PC, well, especially if you're looking to buy a higher end PC, eh, eh, forget it. And then things like the 3950 or the 3900, they're getting marked up massively as well as well as the previous generations of graphics cards. It's getting beyond a joke. So if you're looking to, to build a PC at the moment, which I am I am doing, all you can do is basically sit on your hands and, and hope that later in the year the prices might start to stabilise and that you might actually be able to get hold of the parts. But for the time being, I, I, I don't know what these manufacturers are thinking. I mean, you know, what, what's the point of all this? What, what's the point? Are they actually selling product? Presumably, they can't get these products out there. So I, I don't know. For for my money, I I I wouldn't be putting these products out yet. I'd, I'd have waited until they could have got stock through. But that's just my my view. For now, I think if you've got a decent PC, you might as well just sit on it and wait, because uh, otherwise you're just going to give yourself an aneurysm trying to actually find these parts. Because they're just not out there. And the only people who seem to have any of these parts, for my money, are the bloody tech YouTubers who keep going on about them and how good they are and all the rest of it, while the rest of us out here are just sitting here. And, um, <laughs> yeah, wasting our time. And uh, I even considered maybe going and getting a 3900 and, and putting that in and then maybe later on updating it to a 5950 or something. But, um... What's the point when they're being marked up as well? But anyway, look, you know, I, I'm ranting on here. This is just off the cuff, really. I didn't want to uh, sit down and write a script or anything like that. I just wanted to to talk about my frustrations and the fact that, you know, there's a lot of other people out there who are probably just as frustrated as me and my mate trying to get hold of these parts. But, um, yeah, it is what it is, I suppose. Anyway, look, uh, as I say, this is uh, uh, <laughs> my first video for a while, so I'm ranting on a bit. And uh, I'm going to leave it there. So uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Give me a thumbs up and all the rest of it. I mean, are you frustrated with this as well? Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure a lot of people are if they're looking to build a PC. And I know um, Jason on my Discord is talking about be building a PC uh, mainly for VR. And uh, he's going to run into some of these problems as well if he's looking to do it soon. And uh, it doesn't look to be getting any better well, anytime soon. So yeah, anyway, look, I, I am going to go now and I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye.